Yo, what's up everyone? I know you're watching the video, hoping you're enjoying it, but it's Jossie from the past. It's literally like April 3rd. Five more weeks and then I'm out of this boy. What is going on everyone? I hope you all are having a great day. My name is Jossie. For those of you all who are new here, welcome to my channel. I have been binging this podcast and the podcast is called Techish. And the person who started it also started this site called People of Color in Tech. And they talk about different, you know, obviously like topics within tech. And they also talk about like what it's like, what their experiences are as a minority in tech. And they also interview people who are minorities in tech. And you just learn so much information about tech. It just motivates you to be a better techie. But this is the podcast. Super duper cool. I'm trying this new thing where my intros consist of flashback videos because I have so much content that just won't make the vlog. So I figured why not just add it to the intro. I apologize, I know I haven't posted in multiple weeks, but I just needed some time to just relax and think through some things like the direction I wanna take my YouTube channel and also work on my software engineering portfolio. But I'm much better now all is good with that being said i tried to be as productive as possible those two weeks even the week when i was sick so i did some wedding videography and photography i spent some quality time with my lovely girlfriend And I tried to act like I was LeBron James in the backyard of my girlfriend's house. For those who don't know, I played football in high school. As a matter of fact, my team was the first team in 10 years from my high school to actually make it to the playoffs. So. Shout out them Raiders, class of 14. I even got recruited to go play football in college. I recruited by smaller schools like Davidson, you know, where Steph Curry went and schools like Fordham, which is in the Bronx, like primarily division one AA schools and division two and division three schools. None of those schools I just mentioned was a school I actually went to go play. They actually didn't work out. I didn't go visit Fordham University when the coach asked me to come visit. And that's apparently a no-no, especially in the football world. If you don't go visit, sometimes schools will not have any more interest in you. Like one of my friends didn't make a visit and that school just lost all interest and stopped responding to him. As a matter of fact, the same thing happened to me. Ironically, Davidson wanted me to have higher test scores and they wanted me to take more AP courses. I also got invited to their campus for a camp and I didn't go. I probably should have. I probably would have gotten an offer to go play for them had I went to go visit the campus. It seems like the theme of this video is me not going to visit colleges that are interested in me, but it all works out in the end. When I was in ninth grade, I was inspired by a senior football player who used his academics, so his good grades and his skill on a football field to get him into a prestigious university. At that moment, I realized what I wanted to do. I wanted to get good GPA, try to get the best test scores I can, and use that as leverage to get in a really good university like Harvard, University of Chicago, University of Rochester. Believe it or not, that plan worked out and at the end of my senior year, I committed to the University of Rochester to go there, not only study, I think it was computer engineering, the major I picked, but also to play wide receiver. For those who don't know, the University of Rochester is a very prestigious university. US News has it ranked as the 33rd best university in the nation and the 45th best engineering college in the nation. I even have the letter and everything for proof. This letter is actually really important because my story will make more sense. Dear Jossie Lynn Jay, congratulations. I'm pleased to offer you an opportunity to start your journey at the University of Rochester this fall through the Early Connection Opportunity. 
program. So what exactly is that, bro? I'll read it to you. Often as part of the admission evaluation process, we identify applicants who will benefit from our assistance with the transition to the university's rigorous academic environment. Thus, as a condition to our offer to you, you are required to participate in the Early Connection Opportunity Program, an on-campus educational experience scheduled for July 13th through August 9th, 2014. Your enrollment at Rochester is contingent on your success at this program. Airphrase. Bro, I, I still don't get it. Those big words are just beyond me right now. Basically, Rochester wants to make sure that it's minorities like myself had a successful transition from high school academics to Rochester academics, which happened to be very rigorous. The admissions team as a whole probably believed that I could do the work at Rochester, but they wanted me to show them that I could before school starts. Oh, I got you. I enjoyed my time at Rochester. I was literally only there for a week but the people were so cool. A lot of the people were from the New York City area and they are just a blast to hang around. So many jokes, I just had so much fun. So I show up to campus July 13th. I'm sitting there at this little dinner that the football team was having and I was just like, what have I done? I'm all the way in another state at a university that I went to for its academics, but more so because of its prestige and not as much to do with how much I really, really like it. And I get a chance to tell people that I'm about to go play football there. So in high school, I thought it was a win-win, but when I was on campus, I quickly realized that it was a mistake. Ohio University was only about 45 minutes closer to my house than the University of Rochester was. So it still was far enough away from home that my parents just couldn't drop by when they wanted to. And I had the freedom that I needed as a college student to become an adult. Ohio University made me feel like a big fish in a small pond, even though the university is much bigger, but I felt like a big fish in a small pond because not only did I have a relationship with the Dean of Academics, but I also had an engineering scholarship that I knew would motivate me. And I just felt like as an African-American man being on scholarship for engineering, I felt like I was just paving the way for not only myself, but people who are younger than me, people who may look up to me that I don't even know look up to me. I just felt like I was making a difference. So I came to the realization that I don't want to play football anymore. I just want to be a student. I want to go to a big campus, a big college town. I want to experience that. Computer science is hard enough. I could barely probably get through that without football. And then you add the extra job of being a football player and being a work study student. It just didn't make sense. I honestly felt like in my heart that I just knew God didn't want me to be there. And I know deep down inside that I didn't want to be there. I think that experience helped me become an adult. I got some pushback from family members and some family members who doubted my decision, but I knew that I was going to go to another good university in Ohio University, another great university, and study computer science there and just focus on my academics and become the best student that I can be. I'm not going to the NFL, but you know what? I can become an engineer. I chose my own path regardless of what other people had to say. Ended up working out great. God blessed me with an internship freshman year and the rest was history. Moral of the story is despite adversity, if there's something that you believe in, you hold on to it and you continue to believe in it and you continue to believe in yourself. Trust in whatever God has for you because whatever he has for you, it is for you regardless of what anyone else has to say. And if you trust in him, it will work out. So that wraps up this video. If you are still here. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what you thought about it or if you have any recommendations for future videos. And I will see you all later. Have a blessed week. And remember, all is good and faith over fear. Peace.